In today's video, um, I want to talk a little bit about security and security for WordPress. Now, if you're using WordPress um, for any of your websites, uh, you really need to sit up and listen um, and take notice of this video. And like I said, today um, what I'm talking about is security. Now, the problem with WordPress is it's become so popular it's sort of almost become a bit like the kind of Windows but for building websites and you know the big problem with uh, Microsoft uh, Windows has been that it's so popular it's the most popular operating system in the world and as a result um, a lot of hackers um, and virus creators target Windows so everybody has to use antivirus software and anti-malware software otherwise your computer probably will get infected um, so you may be familiar with this even Apple Macs now are starting to get infected now with viruses I've just heard um, so you know this is becoming a problem and likewise with um, you know with with website systems um, so you know WordPress now has become you know so massive and so many people are using it that a lot of hackers now are writing scripts that target uh, WordPress and you know I mean I, I have over 150 websites uh, currently online right now um, and most of them are using WordPress and around two years ago um, I noticed that a lot of my websites started to get hacked and um, you know sometimes you know you would log into a website and uh, you know the it, you know it would just redirect to some affiliate offer or it could redirect to you know some sort of virus site or you would go to the website and there'd be like a virus warning from Google on the site uh, and this was all because somebody had actually hacked in to my WordPress site and they were placing affiliate their own affiliate links on the site and doing all sorts of things or maybe they could be using your website you know for any kind of illegal purposes so um, it's very very important now to secure your WordPress uh, site with with specialist um, security plugins now these plugins are all free um, and I think really anyone who installs WordPress now should be installing these plugins uh, as default whenever you install WordPress it's so important in fact you know when I install WordPress now the first thing I do the first plugins I install are security plugins so that's what I'm going to talk about today but, but, but um, before we even get into um, plugins and security plugins and settings for WordPress I just really want to really quickly just talk about passwords now a lot of people go wrong when setting up a WordPress blog is the username they use they'll there's there's either two usernames they use and that is either admin which is you should never um, have your username as admin because a hacker will always um, start off with uh, you know the username admin so create another word that, that that you know is easy to remember for your admin uh, for your username or create one using a password generator I use this one here I'll put a link to this tool this is a free tool I'll put it underneath the video um, I use this tool for creating all my passwords and usernames usually when I create a username um, I don't include any numbers dashes or symbols or anything like that I just keep it about six or seven characters long um, and then I just click generate and that will just create a really simple username there um, I keep note of all of these usernames and passwords for my blogs in a spreadsheet um, I also use LastPass which is like a password manager and I also print out my spreadsheet and keep it in my filing cabinet so I have a hard copy of everything now for my passwords um, you don't have to be this secure but I like to go for 48 character passwords and keep all of these checked so it's going to use numbers, dashes, symbols lowercase uppercase um, and that's a 48 character password so as you can see here very very complicated and difficult to crack so if somebody was trying to crack this password it's going to be tough it's not going to be easy um, so I'm just trying to make life as hard as possible for a hacker and believe me you know if you've got a website that's pulling in a couple of grand a month and the last thing you want is someone to hack into it. I mean, even if a website's only making you, you know, thirty or forty dollars a month, it can be really annoying if somebody hacks into the site and deletes all your content, especially if you haven't backed it up. So these kind of passwords are so important. So this is why now, uh, for my cPanel, also for my WordPress usernames and passwords, you know, all my passwords now are forty-eight characters long. Um, and like I said, I I keep a copy of this password in a spreadsheet. I also print out the spreadsheet, keep it in my filing cabinet so I've got a you know and I'm also using a password generator you can use something like RoboForm 
Um, I use LastPass just because I, I, I like the way LastPass works um, and that way I can keep track of all my passwords. So I, like I said, 48 character long password um, and don't use admin as your username, okay? Please don't do that. Okay, so the next thing we're going to uh, go into, I'm going to show you these free plugins uh, for WordPress. So um, let me just see. Okay, so these are the three the three plugins um, I like to use um, on uh, you know all of my WordPress blogs now um, are these three here. So let me just bring this over so we can see here we've got limit login attempts, secure WordPress, and WordPress firewall two. Okay, now you can get these all by um, if you go to uh, plugins, add new and then um, all you need to do is type in something, let's just take limit login attempts as an example, limit login attempts, search plugins, and it's going to search the WordPress database for limit logins. Okay, limit login attempts, I've already installed it, but if I hadn't installed it, there'd be a blue clickable link there where you could actually install it. Um, you don't really need to change any of the settings um, within these plugins, they do have settings and you can set up email alerts, um, if we go to, let's just have a look for, there are some settings that I'll just quickly show you. You can actually change the default settings if you want. Uh, what this will actually do is, um, if somebody's using like a software tool, um, and because sometimes these software tools, they'll just try every different password at all possible. What Limit Login Attempts does is, uh, if someone gets the password wrong more than four times, it will actually lock them out, okay? And it will lock them out, see the setting here is for 20 minutes, okay? After four lockouts, it will then lock them out for 24 hours, okay? Um, so that, that gives you an idea of the kind of security. You can change those if you want to. Um, that's absolutely fine. And um, the other thing it will do is, you can um, check this box here to email um, you, you know, for the, your WordPress site to send you an email um, after four lockouts so that you know if someone's trying to hack your site. But the interesting thing about all of this, the, these, all these plugins have these like email alerts. Um, I've actually had to go around to all my sites and turn off all these email alerts because I was getting about 15 or 20 emails a day uh, coming in. Um, literally just saying, you know, this person's tried to hack into this site, this site's been locked out, another person tried to hack into this site, I was just people constantly trying to hack into, you know, into my sites. And this isn't just because I'm a well-known internet marketer, I've got a number of colleagues and a number of friends who've all reported the same thing. I thought this was just me, I thought, oh, someone's obviously targeting me. Um, however, like I said, I have a number of colleagues who are using these plugins now, and they've all reported the same thing. And it just shows you um, how many of these like automated bots are out there which are just crawling the internet looking for WordPress sites and trying to hack into them okay so that's limit login attempts definitely recommend it absolutely fantastic plugin and uh, the next one is a uh, secure uh, WordPress okay so to you know again to find it you it's exactly the same thing all you need to do is go to plugins add new search for secure WordPress okay and then you can click on install um, now what what uh, what actually secure WordPress will do is it will remove all of the things that a hacker looks for so um, when someone goes to your site uh, if if they look at the code um, of your site they can actually work out what version of WordPress you're using um, and a whole host of other things as well what updates you've installed so, because they may know, for instance, there's a security um, a loophole in one particular version of WordPress, and if you haven't updated it, they might know how to hack into your site. So, Secure WordPress removes all of that data so that anyone looking um, at, at your site will not know what version of WordPress you're running, they won't know what updates you've um, installed, etc., etc. And it also helps with loopholes that can appear in things like um, your plugin directory and your theme directory and all those kind of things. There's no real settings, I just leave everything as default once you've installed secure WordPress. And WordPress Firewall, um, that's the, the final plugin which I use. Again, all you need to do um, is put WordPress Firewall 2 in there. Okay, it comes up and again uh, if you haven't installed it, there'll be a blue clickable link there and you can actually install it. Um, again, all of these have, so for instance, there's settings here for WordPress Firewall. 
what I tend to do is I tend to leave all these on default again like I said you know you can put in um, uh, an email address here if you want to um, so that uh, th the system will email you whenever someone tries to hack into your site but quite frankly um, like I said you know the people are trying to hack into so many of my sites now that I was just getting too many emails so um, that security plugins really really important I can't emphasize it enough um, especially because you know some people like ter well not necessarily terrorists but you know people who scam artists people who um, are, are running fraudulent websites they're looking for servers to host their scripts on and people who who plant viruses um, for end users they're looking for websites to put their viruses on and you know if your site's not secure they'll put them on your site and you may not even know they're there okay and what can actually happen is if Google actually sees that your site is hosting a virus or a malicious script which you may not even be aware of um, they'll just de-index your site um, because they don't want their Google won't want their users coming to your website okay so very very important whenever you install WordPress um, install these three plugins they're absolutely free um, I'll put the um, I'll put the name of these plugins uh, below the video um, like I said you don't need to download them or anything you can just search for them within your WordPress um, installation